The journey of investing can be both fruitful and unexpected. Even the wisest investors get blindsided by the unforeseen events. So how can you protect yourself and maximize your gains? Diversification, a powerful strategy in growing your investments. But what exactly is diversification? Let's break it down. Diversification means having several assets with the least amount of correlation. It's about spreading your investments across different types of assets to lower your risks. Unfortunately, no matter what asset you buy, there's risk. Let's take a closer look. Retail properties face challenges due to the rise of e-commerce and frequent changes in consumer behaviors. They may also be tied to longer term leases, limiting flexibility for tenants. Multifamily properties face restrictions, including rent control which can make it challenging for investors to achieve desired returns. This also affects the property's potential for value and income appreciation. Office spaces are seeing competition from co-working spaces and the trend of remote work. These kind of changes in demand require an adaptive business model for office buildings. The industrial sector has experienced changes to increases in e-commerce. However, anticipated changes in income supply trends and trade policies can impact the demand for industrial space. Residential homes face risks from changes in construction, regulation, and lending terms. Unfavorable policies and loan terms can make it difficult for investors to generate positive cash flow. Now that we understand risks, let's explore how to diversify your investments effectively. Option one, invest in a variety of asset classes. Spread your investments across retail, multifamily, office, industrial, and residential properties. This way, if one sector faces unexpected changes, your diversified portfolio can still flourish. Option two, Diversify within a single asset type. For example, when investing in retail spaces, consider purchasing multi-tenant and single-tenant buildings. Ensure that tenants represent multiple industries like banks, restaurants, auto stores, and drug stores. Apply a similar approach when investing in office space by considering class A, B, and C. Option three, focus on both cash flow and depreciation models. Take risks in your cash flow focused investments while preserving capital in your appreciation focused investments. Option number four, consider investing in different markets. Seek opportunities to grow in cities and explore out-of-state options. Building a presence in multiple markets can help mitigate losses caused by unforeseen circumstances like natural disasters or changes in governmental ordinances. Option five, go international. Investing in markets like Sydney can provide unique benefits and risks. However, ensure you thoroughly understand the relevant laws and regulation of the chosen country. And that goes for another city because it's dramatically different sometimes in different cities. Option six, participate in a syndication. This allows you to invest in deals managed by another firm. Option seven, invest in real estate funds, bonds, or stocks. These passive investments provide liquidity and diversification in equity and debt, depending on the fund. By employing these diversification strategies, you can create a resilient portfolio that safeguards against unforeseen events and maximizes your chances for ongoing growth and stability of income. The journey of investing may have its ups and downs, but with diversification, you can create an invisible shield that protects your investments from the uncertainties of the ever-changing market. Remember, diversification is not just about having multiple assets. It's about wisely spreading your investments to minimize risks and increase your chances of success. Diversify today and set yourself on the path to a brighter financial future.